negative five right now, so it's still probably too cold to release the ducks. Good morning, ducks. How's everybody doing? Those two look like they're laying over there. I'll give them another minute. In the end, there can be only one. In the end, there can be only one. It's just an old rotten pumpkin, guys. Don't get worried. Here you go, ducks. So after yesterday's record smashing count of 17 eggs, which by the way, I only have 14 layers. I only have uh, seven eggs today. It's okay. You guys did some good work. It's really cold today and I'm happy just to have these. Nice job, ladies. So today marks an important day for our small town of Peacham, Vermont. Today is town meeting day. Now for those of you who are not familiar with the concept, a town meeting day is a tradition here in Vermont. In fact, it's even like a state holiday where every first Tuesday in March, everybody in your town gets together and they often will vote on budgets and select board members and other town leadership positions and debate key issues like should we establish a parking fine or should there be a registration fee for cats or something like that. And that happens uh, once a year, every first Tuesday of March. And seeing as how I'm recording this on the first Tuesday of March of 2019, today is town meeting day. This has been a tradition in Vermont since like the 1760s. This is very much rooted in how all of these tiny little towns in Vermont that are separated by mountains and other rough terrain used to try to self-govern themselves. And really when it comes down to it, it's how they often self-govern themselves today. I am very excited to participate in town meeting day today. This is my first time participating. When I was living in DC and going back and forth to the farm, I was never able to come here on a Tuesday to participate because I always had to work or do other things. But today I've cleared my whole schedule and I'm ready to show up and participate in my local form of government. And I figured it'd be a great time to bring you guys along with me. So the way town meeting days work in Vermont is that about 30 days before the meeting, uh, these notices are put out. These notices are called warnings. Those warnings basically have all of the agenda topics for the town meeting. That list includes voting for things like select board members, voting on issues related to approval budgets, voting on key ordinances and that sort of thing. Now there's somebody who is elected as the position of moderator and that person is responsible for running the meeting. And they basically open each issue up for discussion and then have everybody vote for it with a A or nay, or yay or nay, or is it A or yay? And that's how the issues get determined. For me personally, I think this is the purest form of democracy. I mean, it really is the people voting on an issue. It's done very transparently. You're able to speak your piece before the issue gets voted on. It allows for everybody to come together as a community to make decisions that impact the entire community. As you guys can probably tell, I'm wicked excited about this one and totally geeking out. And I'm not usually the type of person to geek out over civil issues, but yeah. Just a few 
regular reminders, there are bathrooms downstairs. I want to set the tone for today's meeting with a quote from Frederick Douglass, which is part of a speech given in November 1862 on the work of the future. Think about 1862. And thanks to Julie Hansen for digging this out for me. The structure of the American Constitution and government imply the existence among the whole people of a fraternal goodwill, an earnest spirit of cooperation for the common good, a mutual dependence of all upon each and of each upon all. The government is not enthroned above the people, but is of, by, and through the people. And I think nowhere is that spirit more in evidence than at town meeting. I've got some ground rules for the meeting today. Please respect each other. And if you're new to town meeting, welcome. The legal voters of the town of Peachum are hereby warned to meet in the Peachum Congregational Church on March 5th, 2019 at 10 a.m. to transact the following business. Article one, to elect a moderator. Article 2, to receive the report of the town auditors. Article 3, shall the voters approve total general fund expenditures. Article 4, shall the voters appropriate the sum of 52905 to be raised by taxes and to be held in the road capital equipment fund until used for the sole purpose of the acquisition of a new one. Rick Scholes, I simply want to ask a question. Why was the pickup truck left out of the overall budget for transparency. I don't quite understand about the sign. It's fine to get a sign, but I would need a post at the bottom of my drive, and I'm too old to put a post in the ground. So will you do that? Help me dig? <laughs> I wonder if you've given thought to the budget for the next two years to give us some sense of where we're going. I mean, obviously there's roads that need to be paved, so we put 40,000 away for a couple years for that, for those projects. And East Peachum Road, I'm sure everybody knows, is really bad. <laughs> so Discussion about what may happen with the tennis court, and that is still on the table, and actually, um, and I'm not sure exactly when we'll be holding a meeting about the pavilion, but there will be some sort of public forum about what may happen to that space um, with the proceeds from the fondo. All those in favor, please say aye. Uh, all those opposed, no. You guys appear to have it. I know the town meeting day must feel like a lot of boring repetition and parliamentary procedure and it's not all that exciting. But when you really think about it, this is how we as a town are making decisions and how we're governing ourselves. And so, yeah, you need that process and you need that order to make everything work. Article 10, elect a select board member for a term of one year. Nominations, Ron. I nominate Peter Craig. Second. Ron Craig nominates Peter Craig, seconded by Diane Centurio. Any other nominations? I nominate Mary Daly. Jack Gill has nominated Mary Daly. Any other nominations? This office all requires a paper ballot. Uh, so we're going to do our ballot process. No. Okay. Uh, my wife thought it was a good idea. Wow, that's a thing we've been working on trying to tell Ani what to do. Last That is so cool. When did you get that? Oh, uh, she was. They were selling them. Oh, hold up. Uh, I'll uh, keep, you take as many as you want. All right. Cool. There were a total of 121 votes cast, needed for election 61. Mary Daly received 46. Peter Craig received 75. Peter Craig is elected select board for a term of one year.
Hi everybody, I'm Rachel Morales, I run the Farmer's Market and I wanted to see your perspective about what we're doing and let you guys all know that we are going to have a market again. It starts June 13th, every Thursday, 4 to 7. Oh, I do. I forgot this morning, but I'm remembering now it's my mother's birthday. It was my birthday. I was trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> So each year after we do all the town meeting business, everybody in town gets together and we have like a big potluck lunch. Um, you know, I think all the people whose last name begin with A through K, uh, they bring a side dish and everybody who's L through Z brings a main course. And it means like a nice big spread. And I think it's a really good thing and I wish we did that as a society when we have our broader elections. Because it's like, even if you disagree on an issue or vote against something that somebody else believes in, you can still all get together and break some bread. I think if we, as Americans, all had a potluck after every election, things would be a lot more peaceful. So yeah, that's town meeting day in Peach and Vermont. Well, there wasn't any major issues or great debates or people yelling or anything that you feel like might be the hallmarks of small town politics. I really enjoyed spending a large chunk of my day hanging out in that church, listening to people speak on the issues, watching our town's democracy in action, and you know, spending time with my community. I mean, we are only a town of 700, 750 people and to have that much community engagement and involvement, it's just awesome. You know, another unique thing about Peachum is that we actually have our own farmer's market and I'm excited because I'm gonna start selling some duck eggs at the farmer's market this year. But to give you guys a glimpse of what we're in store for, let me go back to last year when I tried to make a commercial for our town's farmer's market. I've never had much wor luck working with child actors so this could be quite the adventure. We should build a vegetable garden. Where are we gonna find a vegetable garden here? Over there. But there's, but it's all covered in snow. Hello, I'm Ari. Hello, my name is Amy. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna make a commercial for the pizza farmer's market. 